back to Welcome to Wing Chun, and we are on session 10. Okay, uh, we're going to finish off our introductory gait series by looking at the supporting hand, Wu Sao. And um, just to tell you a little bit about how this guard hand or protective hand works, um, there's a phrase for it in um, Chinese martial arts, uh, Wing Chun and other sort of Chinese martial arts, which means mother son hand. Right, so uh, if you imagine the front hand is the sun, right, that goes out into all sorts of trouble, you know, it's out there dealing with things, striking, etc. But the, the mother is always at home looking after the sun, and if the sun gets into trouble, it, it comes forward, yeah. So you've got the sun hand, he's out in the front, and the mother is the protective hand. So there's always the mother is always at home, the mother is always protecting the house, right? So, um, the, that's that's the little the. Chinese way of describing the interaction between these two, yeah, and it's similar, it's a yang, a yang, yang, and a yin thing, right, so you've got one active, engaged uh, hand at any one time, the other one is always engaged, but in a yin way, right, potentially defensive way. So, let's have a look, so uh, the main one that we use is wu zhao, is a guard hand, right, which is a sort of slightly vertical, upright palm, little bit of structure in the wrist, again I say structure, not tension, and the elbow is slightly out. So compared to a Tan Sao position where the elbow is tight, Wu Sao, the elbow comes out a little bit, yeah? And generally the phrase is that Wu Sao guards the throat, right? So it protects the, the, the throat area here. So how, how is this done? If we come into our basic stance again, right? Generally, it's a defensive position, right? So if we're in any kind of fighting stances here, right? In front of the throat, uh, it could also be a high forward Wu Sao as well. So we're going, to, we're going to practice with a double Wu Sao so you can get the hang of it, right? So from this position, what I want you to do is turn and, one, and it just gets driven straight towards centre. So unlike Pak Sao, where it's the, with the slapping part of the palm, it gets driven with a short, sharp forward motion. Wu Sao just holds its shape, right? So the hands just switch and drive forwards. Switch and drive forwards. Switch and drive forwards. Yeah? So let's do this together. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, you can go center, yeah, to make sure that everything is lined up center line. Drive, center. Drive, center. Drive, center. Drive, center. Yeah? So you're keeping that structure. You'll notice that Wu Zhao pops up throughout our other gates, as I was saying. So the sun hand here is a bong sao shape, which you know could be a punch or something else like that. The bong sao shape, and then the wu sao is here, guarding the throat. So it's always present, right? And so you always, whenever you're doing your other gates, you've got to bring your awareness and your attention to this hand. So we'll do some punches as well, but I want you to focus on the wu sao hand, so as well as the punch. So this hand drives forward, and this hand, boom, also has structure. You throw the back hand as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So always remember. Guard yourself, stay safe. Whenever you're using your front hand, you're also using your back hand as well. Good. Practice, practice. See you next time.